Now, we all have seen the whole drama that's going on with Corey at this point. Corey having women issues with Maddie and also with Corey. We had seen everything how it played out with Corey and Maddie. Now, apparently, Maddie had went on TikTok and her best friend was there. And eventually, her best friend had came out stated that she did not like Corey. And she also said that she did warn Maddie about Corey. And she had more things to say about the situation with Maddie and Corey. So, we're going to go right now and jump. Corny, don't, don't. What I told you, I said he's corny as hell, bro. But I didn't feel that way. Okay, and I'm telling you though, I'm telling you, he's corny. I told her from day one, he's corny. Don't fuck with him. Don't fuck with him. Be his friend. What she do? She do the opposite. Okay, cool. Nice try. And I and I really didn't want to meet him for real. Like she be forcing that on me. I don't be wanting to meet meet her once nine times out of ten. So I met him and he was all right. He was all right. He was all right. He was all right. Like, I spoke life into him the first day I met him. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I saw a little potential. Still corny. You feel what I'm saying? But, like, my friend, she like corny people. Like, that's her heart. You get what I'm saying? Like, if you want to be with her, just stay up till 7 a.m. three times with long talk. You got her. So that, that's how he went her over. He kept doing long talks with her, stayed up to 7 a.m., took the sun's red. Like, she liked that type of stuff. Like, <laughs> Y'all so ignorant. That's, that's not corny, that's deep. Yeah. Exactly. Deep. Uh, that's not, okay, but to no, no, no. Like I like these stuff. I love she these like stuff. These stuff. They're different. like a rough nigga. It's a difference though. I like these stuff. You like these stuff. But you also like corny people. Okay. That, you do. It's nothing wrong with that. That's your that's your tea. That's your flavor. She like corny stuff. Me? No. Okay, when did you stop liking him? I never really liked him. But when did like, you say I never like, disliked him? When I never did you dis say when did you say hell no? Like when he came to my house. Like, like you little boy, bro. Your mindset not there. Like he think his mindset is further than it really is. Like, and it's like if it was, bro, you would be so much more. You think you calculated, but you're not calculated in ten years. You get what I'm saying? You got family, you got a legacy that you got to worry about that you don't even be thinking about, but based off of the stuff you do. Because if you did, you wouldn't do half the stuff you do because you have a legacy. You you talk about having a legacy, but your actions don't match up to making sure that that legacy is protected. That's how I know you're not really him for real. You think you are. You are. You are. You have a little bit of strategic thinking and all that. You, you definitely. Do I'm not saying that you don't have it as far as you think. That's the thing. I thought you were saying when he left on the side of the road. When he left me on the side of the road, that that was just like, oh, I already knew. Not, I was never surprised by anything he did. You were oh, the you only got one. the evidence that he left me on the side of the road. Yeah. Even sounded corny. Like, he got knowledge to him. It's not my Jack taking that away from him. I just think that he thinks he's a little further than he really is, and you're not. Any man that really has money is really wealthy. We're not talking about rich. Wealthy and rich, two different things. Wealthy is long term. Wealthy is set up. Wealthy is short Well, exactly. Your mindset is different. It's not even certain activities you would engage in because you won't mess up that wealth. You understand? Two different lanes. You wouldn't break, you wouldn't come into no woman's house trying to beat the shit out of her if you was wealthy because you got something to lose. Yeah, but so she be doing that and she be, you, she be triggering people. I do. Because when Robbie said, Talia, I said, oh, you are right. I did kind of forget because I didn't say anything that you did. Friend dropping teeth. We be the main fools, yeah. Keep schooling her. Every day this girl she gets school. You understand? Don't think, oh, this is one time. Every day of her life, she gets school. She don't listen. So it's like, nobody say nothing to her. Like, she don't listen. I tell everybody that every day she hears my mouth. It's not a day that goes by she don't hear it. She hears it every day. So, and she, and she knows better. Yes, she does. She just choose to do this. Hi, Maddie. I'm just checking on you, Maddie. Your friend, uh, Lani Brown X. Hey. I'm good. How are you? She hard headed very much. Like she's so hard headed. She, I'm gonna say, yo, it's a glass right there. Don't go that way. She gonna say what and go that way every time, every time. What we on? What we on? Love you. I, I be listening, bro. Okay, not too much like on I, Maddie. I feel like I do be listening though. Not too much on Maddie. And I, uh, the girl that said, the girl that said not too much on Maddie, and then somebody said, yeah, for real. Y'all don't know. 
y'all don't let me stop. Ain't nobody. They're just kidding. Yeah, no. But it's like y'all don't understand. Like she causes real hell in my life. Listening. No, you never do. No, you man. never do, bro. Hold on, hold on. It's two people say you never listen. You ever. Know. Like, dead ass, I'm being so serious. You never listen. Like, there's not one time you listen. You can't think of one time I listen. No, no, no. You never listen, bro. You never listen. I'm a bad kid. Yeah, you're a horrible kid. Like, that's why I couldn't wait for you to have that kid so it could be bad to you. Like, yo, what? <laughs> yes, no, I wanted the kid to be bad to you. Bad, bad. When you start getting alopecia being here, because that's how I feel. This girl said she wanted me to have the kid, y'all, so the kid could be bad to me. Watch out, we're not. I think they want to see it. Okay, get her off. This live match with Jack. People here. Oh. All right, guys, so leave a comment down below and let me know how you feel about Maddie's friends. Letting Maddie know that Corey is not a good person. And now we're going to go and jump into this next tea. And this tea is continuing to be going on with Corey and now with Carmen. Now, we have seen this big old blowout that Carmen had put on her live about Corey and how he was scamming, allegedly, his supporters. Now, she had more things to say about the situation, so I did a video about it. So if y'all want to go watch it. Um, there is a link in the bio. You can go and click that and watch everything that Carmen had said about Corey. Now, Carmen did went on her IG and she had put a couple of posts up there, especially the one that she had put that Corey allegedly had exposed her address. Now, that's dead wrong. Now, I do not understand what is going on with this man. He is so pissed off at Carmen for leaving him. And exposing the truth about him that he would do everything to put his own kids in danger. But we get to that part in a few. Now, Carmen did went and put, I guess, the eviction notice for Corey when he got evicted in Florida. And it says here, here for a couple of minutes, laugh out loud, go pay these people since you want to pay somebody to be your girlfriend. And she put the laughing emoji. Then she goes on and she put another um, post saying, it's supposed to my address, only going to get you to go to hell with your skinny, long body, four eyes, big teeth, big ass, stupid. <laughs> Thank you, though. You just speed a lot of shit up. Then right after this, Carmen had put up another post saying, like, are you dumb or stupid? Oh, wait, you're both. Who put the kids in danger? Play with everything else, but don't play with my kids. Safety, B-I-T-C-A. Then on this last post, she goes on to say, I never in my life received shit for nobody for me to sign. Because believe me, I would have signed like yesterday, the F. All right, boom. My fake lawyer being guiding me on everything. I'm not going just to do whatever because you want it. Laugh out loud. No, sir. I'm way smarter than what you dumbass think. Boom, you are so effing stupid that you really forgot a lot. Like, stop crying to the internet and handling shit at the right way. But want to say I'm the one doing it for the social media, laugh my ear off. Every time someone knows, some was because of your big teeth, mouth, ass. Leave me alone. What needs to be signed and done will be done. Trust me and believe me when I said I don't want to be attached to no lame ass dude that can't even provide for his kids. Laugh out loud, you a joke. So right after, I guess, Corey had went and seen what Carmen had posted on his IG, he went to hop on Facebook and said, What's so hard about signing the documents that was already created? You said I have no way to get you with these papers. I'm capping. But what it looks like, I'm tired of this girl trying to keep up with the social media image because this is the only way you can survive in the United States. I don't give a F about nothing you're talking about, Carmen, and I don't want to meet up with you, shorty. Chill with that narrative. Your lawyer can meet me. I don't give a F. Sign these papers and I won't speak on you at all. You can put one of these fans all day, but I am focused on you signing these papers and detaching from my name. All these women do is lie and play victim, and I guess she's female. Y'all want to take her side. Man, I give two F about this girl. Speak. Man, I give two F about this girl. Speak on how you a S-E-X toy. To the industry now. You're going to keep dragging the situation. And people are going to really start seeing the truth about you 100. Now tell your lawyer whoever they are. Let's get these papers signed. I want to divorce from you. Simple. No, for a fact you received them papers for the first time. I got this from the court yesterday. 100 stopped playing with me. Then right after that. Corey decides to bring up the whole situation of her being um, an immigrant. Saying see I'm going to just call ISIS. Ain't fun to do this back and forth with you. Let's go there 100. Then he goes on to his um, 
Facebook again said she tried it, but tried to create a BS to avoid signing this paper. Her ass found a slide right back to Honduras along with her legal ass mom. I need my boys 100. Watch, I get the last laugh. So, overall, guys, as you can see, Corey and Carmen is you know, things are getting really heated between them two. Corey should have left everything alone once he said that he apologized to Carmen. What is the point of this man keep constantly apologizing to Carmen and keep going through the same shit? Over and over again. At this point, just leave this woman alone. This woman has not said nothing to you. Have not, you know, even mentioned you in any of the... Besides the video that she had did because she was responding back to you. But she had not mentioned you at all. I just feel that you are upset and you're triggered because you had seen Carmen move on to this new guy that she's with. And you're trying to go with um, Danny. So just focus on trying to get with her and just leave Carmen alone. If Carmen says she's going to sign the paper, she's going to sign the paper regardless um, you really, for me, I don't know from where I'm at, you really don't need your spouse signature. If you're trying to get a divorce, they can give you the divorce, you know, uh, right there. Because that happened to me. I had gotten my divorce and my ex wasn't there. So they divorced me, um, you know, while out him being there. So I don't know how it is in Texas, but there are some ways that you can get a divorce without you know the other party being there but overall guys just leave a comment down below and let me know how you feel about the situation with Corey, carmen and also with maddie i don't know maddie likes to put her two cents in where it really doesn't concern her i just hope maddie just you know let them do what they gotta do with and she just move on because so at this point i just feel that maddie just trying to get clout of this whole situation but anyway guys just leave a comment down below and i'll see you next